Hi everyone! Today, we're going to take a look at the best PC cases under $70 in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you look for before buying the best PC cases under $70. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have NZXT H510. The NZXT H510 is one of the most iconic cases that NZXT has ever produced. It was released as a replacement to the quite legendary S340 Elite that was loved by NZXT fans everywhere. The H series has made a name for itself for bringing the most amazing aesthetics to the consumers while also being versatile and having plenty of features that PC builders require, and the H510 is no different. Aesthetically, the H510 is quite amazing as it brings a minimalistic design with sleek lines and clean panels. The iconic NZXT cable management bar is also present in this case which helps to clean up the cable management of your build a little bit. You might also be surprised to hear that a more expensive case like the NZXT H700 looks quite similar as well. The build quality of the case is also excellent, and there are multiple quality of life features as well on the case, such as the inclusion of a front USB-C port. The H510 is one of the most iconic cases in NZXT's lineup, and it certainly gets full marks for its unique design. If you are looking for a minimalistic case on a budget under $70, then the H510 will be the best looking PC case under $70. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Fantex Eclipse for 100A. Fantex is one of the best and most popular case manufacturers around, and their Eclipse series of cases has become a fan favorite among PC builders. The series aims to provide a premium product at a reasonable price that has all the essentials for a great case but eliminates any unnecessary bells and whistles in order to save cost. This trend carries over to the Fantex Eclipse for 100 of which is one of the very best cases you can buy under $70. The case also has great cable management features with rubber grommets that cover the cutouts in the steel panel. These grommets are not even found on some $100 cases, so it is clearly a great inclusion here. The rear space behind the motherboard tray is also quite adequate for cable management, so you should not have too much of a problem when managing your custom sleeved cables in this case. For accessibility, the front eye slash O includes two USB 3.0 ports, a microphone, headphone, power button, reset switch, and a three-speed fan controller. All in all, the Fantex for 100 presents a pretty unbeatable value when priced at $69.99. The front mesh panel combined with the extensive radiator and storage drive support easily makes it a recommendation if you are looking for the best overall PC case under $70. The number 3 position is held by Cooler Master NR600. Cooler Master does not have the best reputation in terms of case design and optimal airflow. They have many excellent cases such as the CMMB511 and the H500P mesh, but sometimes they deliver failures as well such as the original H500 and many of the master box-like cases. However, with the NR600, they delivered one of the best airflow focus cases on the market right now. And it is quite affordable as well. The looks of the NR600 resemble the NZXT H510 quite a bit if we somehow ignore the fact that the NR600 has a mesh front panel. The shape of the tempered glass side panel is particularly similar to the H510, and so is the design of the power supply shroud. The case looks fine, although one wouldn't classify it as classically beautiful, especially if you get the ODD version that supports an optical disk drive. The cable management room is also decent and multiple rubber grommets are provided for a clean, uninterrupted look from the front. Overall, the NR600 is another great option if you are looking for a minimalistic and the best airflow PC case under $70. However, the case should ideally be ball with some fans in order to get the full advantage of the mesh front panel. Next at number 4 we have Fractal Design Focus G. The Fractal Design Focus G is one of the more affordable entries in our roundup, as it can be seen regularly listed for around $60. Although the NR600 is also a $60 case, the Focus G already includes two 120M fans that are pre-installed in the front of the case, so that makes it a better value than the NR600. However, there are some areas where the Focus G still falls a little short, 
The Focus G is another mid-tower case with support for ATX, Micro ATX, and Mini ATX cases motherboards. The support for ATX motherboards is a nice feature at this price point, as many of the cases in this range only support the smaller form factors. There are two 120mW LED fans that are pre-installed, however, they have fixed white lighting and that might not match with the design language of every build. The front of the case is a full mesh panel which is nice, but the side is an acrylic panel which is not the best material to make a transparent window. Fractal Design is an amazing manufacturer with some great products, and the Focus G is definitely one of them. This is the best alternative PC case under $70 to the ones that are already mentioned and should be considered if you are on a fairly tight $60 budget for a case. The number 5 position is held by Cooler Master Masterbox Q500L. Another quirky offering from Cooler Master is the Masterbox Q500L, which is an ultra-budget casing meant to target the $50 price tag. The Q500L is a mid-tower case with support for ATX, micro ATX cases, and mini ATX motherboards in a chassis that is quite small by mid-tower standards. It has a front steel panel with several perforations covered by a dust filter that should offer a little more airflow than a solid steel panel. The side panel is acrylic, just like the aforementioned Focus G. Unlike the Focus G, however, the Q500L does not come with any included fans. All in all, the Q500L is a bare-bones alternative to the ones that are listed above it. If your budget is capped at $50 for a case, then the Q500L makes sense. But you should invest in a pack of fans as soon as you get the chance. All in all, the Q500L is the best budget PC case under $70. The number 6 position is dominated by Fantex Eclipse P300 a PC case. This sixth case from Fantex is a great one to go with for those of you that are more into a minimal case design. The mesh front provides a great deal of good airflow through the case while the glass side panel lets others see inside of the case. It's a good case to be able to show your PC off with. The big kicker with this case is that it is incredibly easy to work slash build with and it comes with several HDD slash SSD mounting options. For around the $60 price point, this case has every feature that you need to be able to build a PC smoothly and easily. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Cooler Master Master Box F of 100L PC case. This next case from Cooler Master is another simple, minimalistic case with a bunch of good features packed into a good looking case all around. One of the main features with this case, which makes it unique, is that the front panel slides up and down to hide your I/O ports whenever you deem it necessary. I thought that was kind of a cool touch for a case like this. You don't see that very often with cases like this. It'll fit cards up to 399 mm long and is compatible with ATX, Micro ATX, and ITX motherboards. When it comes to having a case with a brush front panel, plenty of room on the inside to work with. Every PC case feature you'd expect to have and a unique front slide for your i/O ports then this is the case to go with. It's usually priced right around the $65 range which is perfect for what this case brings to the table. The number 8 position is held by Corsair Carbide 200R PC case. The Carbide 200R case from Corsair has been a tough pick for a low budget, feature-rich PC case for a long time now. This case was released back in 2012 and is still being used for many different builds. There are a couple of different variations of it, the 110R and the 100R, that have a tempered glass side panel or regular windowed side panel if you wanted to be able to see the inside. All of the variations are under $70. Carbide cases cover all of the basics when it comes to a functional PC case. For the front panel, there are a couple of USB 3.0 ports as well as your audio jacks. There is a dust filter for the front, which makes it easier to keep dust out. You can have radiators up to 200 for them with the case, and there is plenty of room for whatever else you'd want to add to the case. All in all, when it comes to having a simple case with all of the bells and whistles you need without any need of fancy features, then the Carbide Series cases are the ones to go with. Next at number 9, we have Lion Lai Lankul 205 PC case. Lion Lai has always stayed on top of the latest trends when it comes to PC cases, especially when it comes to the simple designs. They have become very popular over the past few years because of how sleek the designs are as well as how easy they are to put a PC together with. Their Lankul 205 case came out in early 2020 and has taken the budget PC case market by storm. 
There are two USB 3.0 slots on the front, as well as the standard audio jacks that you'd expect to see. You can have up to six different storage devices with this one, as there are four 2.5 drive bays and two 3.5 drive bays. To sum up the Lankwell 205, it's a smooth case with all the bells and whistles you need to add in whatever else you deem necessary with the case. The only slight downfall I see with this one, that there aren't any intake fans that come with the case. Otherwise, there isn't really anything bad going on with it. If you're looking for something that is right under $70, has a straightforward style, and want to have one of the most effortless cases to build with, then this case should absolutely be on your radar. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Aero Cool Cylon PC case. Priced at right around the $50 range, this is the cheapest case that is featured in this list. It comes with a few flaws, but when it comes to having a nice looking case that's easy on your wallet, it's one to keep in mind. It has also been included in the $600 build guide here on the side a few times due to the price point and overall use of the case. This case has a good side window for showing off your hardware as well as including a minimal RGB light strip at the front of the case, which can switch to different color modes with the click of a button. There isn't much ventilation at the front of the case, so it'd be wise to snag some front fans and slash or go with liquid cooling for your CPU if you decide to go with this case. The front I slash all with this case has a little more going on in comparison to the other cases here. It has a single USB 3.0 port two USB 2.0 ports, audio jacks, and also a SD card reader. There is a power supply dust filter, and it's compatible with every type of board that you want to use with this case. You can have two SSDs and two HDD, which gives you a decent amount of room for storage devices. To sum this one up, it's a value case that doesn't hurt the wallet much at all, but it could have better ventilation slash airflow going on with it. It has everything you'd want in the case without having the most optimal cooling right out of the gate. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.